everyone. My name is Miss Joanne and I'm here today to celebrate Culture Days. It's a national celebration of arts and culture in Canada. I bet a lot of you like to be creative, whether it's building something with tools or painting your masterpiece. Perhaps you like to write poetry with a freshly sharpened pencil. Well, I love the art of Eric Carl. Hmm, I bet some of you are familiar with the Very Hungry Caterpillar. Mm-hmm, his art is very unique and we usually recognize it pretty quick. <gasps> I wonder what his favorite color is. I found this book by Eric Carl and Friends, What's Your Favorite Color? And I'm gonna read a little bit with permission from Henry Holt and Company. Let's see what Eric Carl's favorite color is. Can you guess? <laughs> That's right, yellow. <laughs> My favorite color is yellow. Why? One, most children put a yellow sun in their pictures. Two, yellow for me is a very difficult color. When you mix yellow with another color, it quickly becomes kind of muddy. If I use red and put another color in it, it stays red. And if I use blue and mix it with another color, it remains blue. But the minute that I put yellow into another color or mix another color into yellow, it becomes muddy. So it's a challenge for me. And that's why yellow is my favorite color. Okay, we're gonna have to use some yellow. Hmm, I thought we would recreate something from this book. It's a turtle. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay, I'm gonna show you how. Okay, everybody, I've got all my stuff together. I'm gonna use this coffee filter for a sun. If you don't have a coffee filter, maybe you got cupcake liners. Just a piece of paper that you can cut into a circle is fine. I want to do my painting on tissue paper. It's got lots of pretty sparkles on it. I've got different colored paint. I've got this cardboard tube, a wooden spoon, a toothbrush. Find stuff from around your house to make interesting patterns and textures. All right, I'm gonna do our beautiful yellow sun because what is Eric Carl's favorite color? Yes, yellow. So let's do it. And you know he has a lot of suns in his books. You read his books and you will see lots of sun. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of orange just to add some different colors to it here. Okay, that's it. It's just fun and easy. I'm gonna put that aside to dry. Now let's make the shell. Just add Lots of color. Ooh, I like this dark green a lot. Let's add some blue. Blue and green go really well together. And some more yellow. Boom, boom, boom. A bit more blue. Okay, that should be perfect for our shell. I know, it's hard to stop. All right, what am I gonna do with this spoon? I'm just gonna add some patterns. Oh, I'm going to use my toothbrush to add just a little bit of texture to it. I put in a lot. Oh, I didn't even add any orange yet. I'm gonna add just these nice big blobs of paint. Now, this is gonna be fun. This is how we're gonna make our circles. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of black. Now, black can really take over your painting. So, not very much. Here, I'm gonna mix it up with some of my green. That is enough. I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to move on to where we do our heads. So we need a head, we need four feet and a tail. So let's do that on this part. And I don't mind getting my paints all mixed up. You know, you could do lots of stuff to add texture and design to your paint. Okay. And I think I need a couple of dots. I'm just going to add some dots with my wooden spoon. That's it. I'm going to let it dry and then we will trace out our design, cut it and put it together. So everything is dry. I drew a simple shape. It kind of looks like a hat, doesn't it? And I drew the head and the feet and the tail and now I'm going to cut them out. I've cut all the pieces out. Now, I've already glued the sun down onto our cardstock. 
I'm going to put the shell right here on top of the sun. Let's add our beautiful head. Now, you guys can use anything from around your house to create texture and patterns. Oh, maybe a toy car driving through your paint would make a really interesting design. Here we go. And, oh, come on, little leg. And our tail. And that's it. I hope you guys had fun watching me do this today. And if you make something creative during our Arts and Culture Month, put it in the comment below. We would love to see it. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye for now.